bloody opened again, didn't they? Good morning. It's not morning, don't worry. <laughs> the charity shops are open again. And that's all my money gone. Gone, BG, gone. <laughs> I didn't go to that many charity shops, to be honest, uh, in the first couple of days, everything opened, but I went to enough that I gained around mm, 22 or something books, secondhand. So we're gonna go through them. That beer is delightful, darling, delightful. Okay, so, secondhand book haul. Welcome back to my second channel, by the way. Uh, morning, afternoon, good evening. God, we have not done a book haul in so long. In no particular order, let's go. So I got Cibriel, Cibriel, Cibriel? I don't, let me move to the side, love. Let's get a little moment here. Uh, by Garth Nix, sorry if I'm pronouncing everything incorrectly. What are you about? Lovely little hardback, it's in an awkward size. We'll give it that, but it was 75p and it did sound somewhat interesting. Daughter of a mage, lived outside the old wall of the kingdom, her father died, she has to go back, figure out what's going on, lots of dangers, lots of magic. Figure out her life while really lies inside of her. Classic notion, of course. Okay, I'm down, there we go. Little hardback for 75p, a little bit of fantasy, I think a little bit of magic as well. Next one, I think this was 50p, uh, I picked up this beautiful edition of Oliver Twist because I don't think I've ever actually read the book. Um, and I absolutely adore the film, so it can go onto my classic shelf of one of the books I have to get round to. Beautiful dish, it's so colourful. I really love it. There is a charity shop in Northfield, in Birmingham, that does 10 books for a pound. 10 books for a pound. You can either get one book for a pound, two books for a pound, like anything up to 10 books. But if you just get one, it's a pound, which is fine. And I didn't get 10 books because there was not 10 books there that I wanted. Just so you know, I think it's, is it the Sue Ryder one? The one opposite the bank, the one opposite Home Bargains that used to be everything for a pound, but then they changed it after the first or second lockdown for everything for one pound, two pound or three pound. God, when everything was a pound, good Lord. That one, all books, and you can mix and match with CDs and DVDs as well, or like, and records, I think. 10 for a pound, my god. And I think this is where I picked this up. And it's like the whole Hannibal trilogy with Science of the Lambs, Red Dragon and Hannibal. Um, and I'm really excited, she is a chunky girl. She's really thick, um, but I've always wanted to read, especially Science of the Lambs. I've never actually watched Red Dragon. I've only seen Hannibal a few times, but Science of the Lambs is one of my favorite movies. So um, yeah, practically if I got 10 for a pound, that would have been 10p, man. It's not a hard book for 10p, but it was not. Ooh, okay, these are all 50p each, and I'm pretty sure it's a trilogy. I don't think there's any more after, I might be wrong, but it, it, I think this is the order as well. Halo, Hades, and Heaven. As soon as I saw Hades, you know I have this obsession right now of reading Hades and Persephone uh, retellings. I'm pretty sure that's the order they go in, and it's about three angels that are sent down to the earth, and one of them, she's a teenage girl, she gets um, drawn to a mortal boy. That's all I know, okay? I saw that, I read the back of that one, I was like, I'm taking all three, please, thank you very much. So there they are, got Halo, Hades, the beautiful covers as well, like really like stunning visuals. 50p each, love a little trilogy, yes I do, thank you very much. And as always, if you've read any of these books, please let me know, like which ones you think I'll be excited about the most, down below. <laughs> this one, right, I don't know. I did get a little bit of book buying fever, I had to, I had to. I mean, we've just got back to, you know, getting our bargains again. I'm going to go over the top, but I was pretty good this time, to be fair. I thought it was gonna be a lot worse. It's funny that I picked that one up because it said Hades, but I don't think they have anything to do, it's not a retelling of Hades and Persephone. Anywho, there's only one reason I picked up this book and I don't want to read it. It was my eBay brain that had been buried way back there, even though it might not be worth anything, but it's a signed copy by the author. It is Those Wild Windoms by Claudia Renton, and it is signed by the author. And it was 50p and hardback and in fantastic condition. So I picked it up because I was like, it's signed by the author. That one there. Another one 50p was uh, Mr. Mercedes by Stephen King. I don't know what Mr. Mercedes is about, but it's by Stephen King and it's rare to find Stephen King books that cheap. To be honest, everyone just whacks up the price of Stephen King, or they're very hard to stumble by. Uh, it's not the best condition paperback, um, but I do like Stephen King, I want to read more of his stuff. And if I see it, I don't even question it, I don't even read the back, I just pick it up, because it's Stephen King. So there we go, that's 50p. So a little light and joyful, we got the Diary of Anne Frank. Um, you know, just in case I need a little pick-me-up. Um, I did remember starting to read this when, I think I was at school, not for school, but I got it out of the library and I never finished it and I've always wanted to sit down from the beginning and read The Diary of Anne Frank. Um, so yes, I picked that up for 50p and it's a lovely little hardback as well, quite nice condition. Picked this one up even though I've already read it before so it can go into my autobiography section, which I'm going to make because I do love me a memoir and an autobiography. Um, and that's uh, Mud, Sweat and Tears by Bear Grylls. It's one of my favourite autobiographies, I haven't read it in a very long time but I don't have a copy of it. So I picked that up to go into my already read collection. I think that was 50p as well. <gasps> Girl! So I went to Octan Books. 
notoriously expensive. So we spent some money in there, girl, did we spend some money? I was just like a woman obsessed. I found all these cool fantasy books that I wanted to read. So I was like, yes. I didn't even question myself. Yes, yes. <sighs> Um, but this one I've already read and you'll probably know if you've been around for a while It's one of my favorite books and is The Binding by Bridget Collins and it's a hardback I've always wanted a hardback copy of this book now I got mine from the charity shop for like 33p the paperback um, But when I saw on the internet the hardback, I'll show you her naked in a moment I just wanted to like find it in the charity shop one day and I did it was 3 dollars to be fair But it's in still in really good condition. It's starting to bend a little bit if you can see it's not completely straight Let me just get her naked for you so you can see the glory <gasps> Look at how beautiful she is like stunning stunning book um, and yeah, I love this book so, so much. Uh, so I treated myself to a hardback edition of that. <laughs> I love it so much. Next, fucking next. Right, this is also from Oxfam Books. Uh, this was 2 dollars and it is called Tiger's Curse by Colleen <laughs> Hoke. Hoke, someone guy from Book Depository. Mm, and I have their email address. Do not leave these in your books. I'll also have your address on here. They paid £5.76 for it. Ah, you lucky, I do not have your address. Not like I know what I'd do with it anyway. Now it is my bookmark. Passion, fate, loyalty, would you risk it all to change your destiny? That's all I had to read, really. That's all I had to read. It's a really, really pretty um, book cover. And it is number one. We love it when we find a series, so hopefully I'll enjoy it. I've got some series uh, over here and got that one as well. Uh, so yeah, it's about something. 300 year old Indian curse, ran halfway around the world, um, dark forces, spell, spell binding, blind, spell binding magic, mystical worlds, uh, risk everything, ancient prophecy, epic fantasy romance, leave you breathless. Well, I'm buying it anyway. <laughs> Excited for that one. Uh, this one I got is Fire. Is this from, where was this be from? This was probably one of the 50p books. So I saw one called Fire. I'm guessing this is the lady here. She looks badass. Look at her with her bow and arrow, please. Katniss, get out of here. Move aside. Fire has arrived. Something about, something about beauty. She's really beautiful and she can have influence and power over people, but she doesn't want to or can't figure out how it works. Or I'm, I'm not too sure. But she can influence other people and it sounds cool. And royal court. We love a royal court. I love a royal court. So much drama, especially when it's like a magical royal court and there's a kick-ass heroine and like a really dark brooding loving mm, girl, please. She wants her home to undo the wrongs of the past. Oh, I'm there for it. I'm there for it. 50p. I'm there for fire. I'm there to enjoy. Who's this by? Kristen Cash Cashel. Kristen Cashel. Next one is called Fated. Very, very pretty cover as well. This is 2 dollars This lady, animals start following her and she's sent to her grandmother in case she has a breakdown and then she needs someone, some tall, handsome, dark, brooding guy. We just love them, don't we? We just can't get enough of them around here, can we? Uh, who has un otherworldly eyes. I was like, sold. And apparently she's a soul seeker. And it's her true destiny. We love destiny. We love a tug, door, brooding, unearthly guy. Yes. And it's called Fated. It's the Soul Seekers. And it is by Alison Noel. This one just looks like it's going to be steamy as all hell. And I can't hear for it. It's called Pleasure Unbound. It's got a half naked guy in the front. So, by Larissa. Oh, I, I, only, I don't know how to pronounce that. But yeah, I mean, just looking at it. Come on now. So you follow Taylor, who is a demon slayer. And then she ends up in a hospital run by demons undercover. Demon doctors. Please have a little humour in here. I die for a little bit of humour when it comes to fantasy. <laughs> demon doctors, undercover, of course, why not? Watch well, just sounds interesting, you got Demon Slayer and you've got demons. The head doctor makes her body burn with unshakable desire. It's just going to be full on demon erotica, isn't it? <laughs> you know what, I'm not mad. Not mad at all. Can't say I'm pissed, because I'm not. I kind of picked this up, but realised then it was a sequel. So I'm gonna have to find the first one. And it is Angel Fire by L.A. Weatherly, uh, but it is a sequel. I should have been a sequel to the best-selling Angel. Um, it sounded interesting, and I will forget what I've read on the back, so I won't spoil anything for the first book when I do find it, but she's a chunky girl. She seems to be fantasy. Yeah? 50p? Angels? Half angels? I bought it. It's like 700 pages, and if it's good, then it's good, but I need to find the first one. I went on a little bit of a rampage and just picked it up. Right. In one of the shops, it's one pound a book or three for a pound. It's one of those we've talked about before, we've been in great discussion about this. But I didn't want two other books. So I couldn't really be bothered. I just found one. I can't remember which one it was. I just picked up and went with it. And the woman was like, dear, you've got to get two more. I was like, woman, you are a curse. <laughs> like, I'm trying to be good. I'll give you a pound for one book. But the way she said it, I was like, you're right. I do need to find two more books. And she started cashing things in. I was like, oh God, panic, panic. So I went and, okay, I grabbed The Wolf of Wall Street. I don't even know if I want to read this now. I don't know. Is it good? I did really, really enjoy the film. Really enjoyed the film. So do let me know. What do you think? 
I've heard mixed reviews actually on Goodreads of this. And then for some reason, I was in such a panic because she was cashing all my things in that I purchased. <sighs> so I just grabbed this, even though I DNF'd it at 50%. I don't even own it. And there's a reason, because I thought it was a shit book. I don't know why I have it now. I'll have to give it to someone because so many people enjoy this book. I might just give it to Liz. And that is The Girl on the Train uh, by Paula Hawkins. DNF this at 50%, I thought it was the most boring book in the entire world. Liz, you've got another book coming your way. Ooh, and then, and then, and then, right, right. This is a moment, hold on, I have a story. I found this book, and it was in the British Heart Foundation, and it was two pounds because uh, it's completely overpriced books. Anywho, it sounded good. It's the Immortal Instruments book one, City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. I picked it up, I read the back, uh, someone seeing vampires in Brooklyn, werewolves in Manhattan, um, drawn to shadow hunters, yes, yes, yes. Dark side of New York City and the dangers of forbidden love. Give it to me. Give me all of those things. So I picked it up, paid two pounds for it. I was like, oh, lovely. Realise it's a series. Fantasticals. Right, two pounds. Two pounds for that one. Two pounds. You hear that? Two pounds. Take that. Two pounds for that one. Then I went to that bookshop that's like ten for a pound. Guess what was fucking in there? <laughs> this. This was in there. In better condition. This isn't in bad condition. We literally have no creasing on the spine. You want to, I was mad. What I saw first was they also they had this. So I, I let it live. I was like, it's for charity, Ali. Calm down. It's only two pounds. All right. We haven't been out for a while. You've been not buying books for a long time now. It's okay. Just spend the two pounds. I'm still furious about it. If I'm, I'm really being honest with myself. I found this one. And it's the second one. City of Ashes. This was very cheap. Of course, we like it. Uh, different size though, because then I went to another charity shop and for a pound I found the third book. Look, I've never even read the first book. I don't know if I'm going to like the series, but if I do, I'm going to thank past Ali for being so considerate with her coin to go and complete the series for me as she's jumping charity shop to charity shop like a mad woman on a mission. So I found the third one. This doesn't really bother me. These two are the same edition. They look great together. But I'm not a vanity whore when it comes to books. Ish. Um, so yes, that's the last one. So I think there's, god, how many books are there? One, two, three, four, six books in the series. Let's hope I enjoy the first one because I have the first three here. If I don't, they're going straight back to the charity shop. Never mind. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the first second-hand book haul we've had in a while. Um, there will be more. I think we're going to a car boot this weekend because they're open. Oh my god, am I getting my life back? I've been hibernating for the past month and a half. I've been doing absolutely nothing with my life because I knew the tides were turning and things were gonna get better. So it's my last chance to be a lazy bum and I'm taking it and I'm just reading my way through this pandemic. I don't care what anyone says. I don't care. We're back, um, so yes, hope you enjoyed that. And let's see if we get anything from the, I might do a vlog this weekend. Mm, might do a vlog, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all the fun stuff. Do all of it, do none of it. It does not matter to me, as long as you are happy. And I will see you in the next one. Okay? Okay, all right, very good.